Hey guys, it's your favorite auntie. We have got to get into this Married to Medicine reunion. This just might be one of the most controversial videos. Um, I'm breaking it down into two parts. We can agree to disagree. I love when um, there is a difference in opinion and it's in the comments and it's just respectful. You just state, you know, what your opinion is. I've given mine in the video and that's just how that works, right? Well, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And even if we just don't agree, it's okay. That's the point of this is for us to be able to have dialogue about this. <sighs> Everything in this video is alleged. It is in my opinion, and it's just for entertainment purposes. All right, so let's get into the Married to Medicine. We had the Napa theme vineyard. Um, what did you guys think about the theme? I really like the theme. So let's talk about the attire, first of all. Um, who are you guys giving best dress? Um, I had a hard time deciding between, I like Quad's outfit. I really like, I actually like Dr. Heavenly's um, outfit um dress what do you guys think who who are you giving best dress to um if i guess if i had to choose i oh jesus i think i might actually go with quad on this one for the best dress now makeup i'm gonna go with sweet tea for her makeup i really liked her makeup and this one might actually surprise you all i'm going with dr simone for the hair i just like the ponytail i thought it was a really cute look not the dress so much, but definitely the way that her hair was. Um, second, I'd probably run her up for hair. I probably would give that to, um, I probably would go ahead and give that to Sweet Tea. Um, I really liked um, Dr. Heavenly's hair as well, but I'm going to give Sweet Tea um, the hair. Least, like, least person that hair that I liked was uh, definitely quad. I did not like that style whatsoever on quad. All right. So opening, let's talk about the opening of it. Um, Dr. Heavily came out the gate swinging. Um, she right off the bat told Sweet Tea that um, she said that Sweet Tea is the same age as her daughter mentally. I said, well, I, I, let me get my purse because they, they really about to just do it up in here. They, dang dr heavenly i mean what in the world but i do know they have been beefing online but i'm like we're, we're barely five minutes into this reunion and you just sparing no feelings whatsoever so then we got into phaedra I, okay fey fey so for, part of it is phaedra still lying but then part of it i felt like okay she kind of came clean she was kind of hemming and hawing over her change in her flight to not be around Quad for their trip to the vineyard. Then she admits that she she didn't come out and say, well, OK, yes, I changed my trip. But she kind of insinuated my flight. But, I, but she kind of insinuated it when she said that uh, why would she want to attach herself to the Titanic? I said, well, damn, Phaedra. <laughs> Uh, I, when they say they're going to give it to you for the reunion, I guess they were just going to give it to you. But I was like, that's kind of cold blooded. But there's been some, you know, strife between the two of them. Um, you know, they had been cool for, for such a long time. But um, in Quad's opinion was that she felt like Phaedra chose the girls instead of her because she didn't want to lose her position. And you know what? I'm going to believe Quad on that one. I think Quad is absolutely right. I do believe that Phaedra turned on her um, because she would rather go with the majority. But I do also believe that Heavenly, Dr. Heavenly had a part in the strife between Quad and Phaedra because Dr. Heavenly was repeating what some things that Quad had said. But in all fairness, I believe that Quad was saying that Dr. Heavenly was talking stuff about Phaedra first. But it was just a whole bunch of mess between that whole Dr. Heavenly, Quad, and Phaedra who was saying what about what. A lot of mess in there. Um, and so a lot of that, you know, contributed to the strife. But Phaedra picked a side and she was like, nah, man, I need this check. I'm back on TV and sorry, Quad, I will holler at you on the next one. Um, what you guys, let me know what you guys thought about uh, the Phaedra and uh, Quad beef. So moving on, 
let's talk about uh, Sweet Tea. So Sweet Tea, they opened up with Sweet Tea saying that she was that was her get back for Dr. Heavenly by posting pictures with words of affirmations, I guess, around the studio, the dressing rooms. For me, that fell flat. I did not get it. Did you guys get it? What? That's your get back? <sighs> Sweet Tea, you might just have to sit this one out, girl. Now, what I thought was odd was Andy said he missed Apollo. What? So I guess that was his way of kind of letting us know that Apollo was going to be coming to the reunion. Um, but the whole segue into it, I thought was just stupid because they didn't even bring Apollo out right after that. But I guess he was just like, I'm going to drop this nugget. But I just thought that was ridiculous. It was his shade tree as usual. And then Phaedra, Phaedra just sitting there like, eh. but she knew Apollo was there because I think they're going to say on the next uh, show, the part two of the reunion that she invited him there. So yeah, that whole thing fell flat for me too. Um, they asked Phaedra, what did she think about married to medicine versus real housewives of Atlanta? And I think she was lying because she claims that she likes the married to medicine cast better because they support marriages. Well, first of all, let me start by saying this. They have attacked Alicia, in my opinion, um, about her husband. And because he has, you know, antiquated ways. And, um, well, Dr. Damon admitted that he is the same way. But they have done nothing but, you know, make fun of Alicia's husband. And then Toya, in my opinion, came for Alicia's marriage, too, when she started talking about the fact that Alicia's husband said that, hey, they don't get down with the oral stuff. That's what they don't. That's not in his culture. He doesn't do it for her. She doesn't do it for him. That's their marriage. You got to respect that. And with Toya being married, she of all people should know that. Like, you just can't just start, you know, making fun of people's marriages. You didn't like it when it was done to you. Why are you doing it to the next person? So when Phaedra was saying that they like to support marriages, I do agree with the fact that they did support Simone with her trying to get her to get back with Cecil and that worked. They also supported Jackie when she decided to give Curtis another chance. I will give them credit for that. But do they come for marriages? Absolutely. Because Quiet was talking about um, Dr. Eugene and Toya's marriage. Um, so I thought that part that Phaedra was saying was the reason why it was better than the Real Housewives of Atlanta was not a true statement. She also said that, um, what else did she say about the housewives? Uh, oh, that she just felt like that it's just a, I guess she likes the camaraderie of the girls better. But, you know, Faye's going to say whatever because she's trying to keep that check rolling in. So if she were to get a call that she can go back to Housewives of Atlanta, then she probably would sit on their sofa for their reunion and say, yes, I like Housewives better because Marriage and Medicine is blah, 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 blah. Trust me, she's just doing whatever she needs to do for this check. She's trying to secure the bag. Um, and then we also know they talked about Sweet T and her marriage to Dr. G before she even got married. I was like, Dr. Heavenly was already coming for them. Um, so, yeah, this whole thing about they support marriages, that that's a give and take. Okay, so then let's go to the next part of the reunion. Um, do you all think... Phaedra asks Greg for the four thousand dollars. That's something that they're gonna talk. What am I talking about? Uh, Greg, yeah, Doctor G. Uh, yes, um, I almost was like, wait, am I talking about the right husband? I'm talking about the right husband. Okay, so do you all believe that Phaedra asks Doctor G for four thousand dollars? They're gonna talk about that on the next um, part two reunion, but they kind of brought it up here, and I believe it because. On, if you remember the episode where Dr. Heavenly was kind of like almost auctioning uh, Phaedra off and some Dr. Simone actually kind of brought that up um, and she said, what is this? If Phaedra's not a prostitute. Why is Dr. Heavenly trying to auction her off? It was a, a medical, um, I guess, mixer that they had. And so, you know, they were trying to introduce Phaedra to different men. Well, Phaedra said in kind of her green screen moment, she said, and I don't know the exact words, but so I may be paraphrasing here a little bit. But she said something about the fact that if you want to tap a tap tap her drum, because the guy that she had met had said, oh, that's an, that's some nice drums you got. Speaking of her backside, right? Um, she said that they have to make it rain 
So you just said in order for a God to tap you, he needs to pay you. And yet you want us to believe that you didn't ask Dr. G for $4,000. I believe she did. Let's just call a thing a thing. Even if that's your fave, let's just be honest. Let's tell the truth here. Now, let's get into Phaedra and um, let's get into Phaedra. Well, we're going to talk about Phaedra and Dr. Jackie and what happened with Dr. Jackie and the whole, you know, situation with her appearing on Dr. Heavily's podcast and then that getting uh, resurfaced this year. So, you know, it was brought up where Andy kind of talked about how um, Dr. Jackie had been an advocate for Black women this season and she got to, you know, do that virtual call with the vice president. And um, she did that, What I don't know if it was a commercial, info commercial, whatever she did with the ladies, on just really trying to bring awareness to um, the women and the mortality rates when it comes to giving birth. That all has been overshadowed because the video surface that she did with Heavenly, what, two years ago, where she said that women, Black women, tend to cry wolf. And so when Andy brought it up this time, of course, that brought Dr. Jackie to tears and um, she talked about how, you know, her hard work to advocate for women and how much she has stood for women is kind of being overshadowed about this. And then, of course, Andy looked at Dr. Heavenly and was like, yeah, here it is. Every season we're talking about your YouTube channel and how you keep having issues with the ladies because of your YouTube channel. Well, at the end of the day, Dr. Jackie said it, but I do believe that uh, Dr. Heavenly's YouTube channel has been causing a lot of problem with the ladies. So I'm really not upset with the fact that she's not doing YouTube no more. She's moving on to Patreon because it's just caused way too much controversy. But nevertheless, I do believe that Jackie was unfairly attacked and you guys can disagree with that. If you like down in the comments, tell me your, your opinion about this. But I do also believe that your words have power. And as a black physician, you have to continue to advocate for black women. And so to get on um, a podcast with Dr. Heavenly and talk about black women crying wolf was pretty horrific. It should have been a thing back then when she said it and not now. But I don't want that to overshadow what her message is now. She shouldn't have said it, period, point blank. She shouldn't have said it years ago. And she has to own that she shouldn't have said it, um, which I think she kind of eventually took accountability for it. I think Toya, she said Toya helped her to realize that, you know, she shouldn't have said that and kind of get understand other people's perspective of it of because it, I still don't think she got it at first. But I do believe that she is trying her best to advocate for women. And the message is so important. And we just can't get caught up in what happened years ago because we do need eyes on that. And people can get so caught up in what she said that you're going to miss our opportunity to bring awareness to this because that's important. So many black women are dying when they're giving birth to children. I'm sure people, subscribers or anyone listening know of someone who either almost died or did die while giving birth. I know I do. So I do feel that Jackie needs grace on this. I also feel there's some grace that Quad needs, but we're going to talk about that on part two. I really liked how Phaedra showed up for Dr. Jackie because she talked about, she was the, Phaedra was the first person to come out and um, speak publicly about Dr. Jackie in support of her. And then we know Dr. Hemley did and we know Dr. Simone did. And But Jackie w really went in on how much Phaedra was there for her. And I really liked how Phaedra showed up at the reunion and was very outspoken about her support for Dr. Jackie. I, I can appreciate that. And so I, I definitely salute Phaedra for that. Because I haven't really been a big fan of Phaedra being on Married to Medicine. I think she's better off on Housewives. I think her being on the show just doesn't make sense. But I'm going to, you know, give her accolades where accolades is deserved. Um, And then let's see what else did uh, they conclude with. Okay, so then we have the whole debacle that happened between Dr. Simone and Dr. Quad. And that you can catch on part two of my Married to Medicine recap. 
Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and definitely give me your opinion down in the comment section.